Parkinson's disease is a major degenerative brain disease. Even though current treatments can partially relieve the symptoms, we don't yet have therapies to stop or slow the brain cell degeneration that causes the symptoms. In the search for clues to these better therapies, investigators have found that urate, a natural antioxidant in our bodies, may help to prevent Parkinson's disease or to slow its degeneration. People who have higher levels of this antioxidant circulating in their blood have been found to be at a reduced risk of developing Parkinson's disease. Among people who already have Parkinson's, those with higher urate levels tend to develop less disability than do patients with lower urate levels. Laboratory studies show that urate can indeed protect brain cells. Altogether, this evidence led us to pursue the possibility that raising urate levels in people with Parkinson's could keep them healthier longer. These discoveries may represent an important clue in fighting Parkinson's disease. Urate is the first neuroprotective molecule to be linked to a better prognosis, as well as a lower risk of typical Parkinson's disease. To rapidly follow this clue toward a better therapy, we have designed the Shore PD-3 clinical trial of inosine. Inosine is a building block molecule that the body converts into urate. In the Shore PD-3 trial, we will test whether inosine, at doses carefully adjusted to raise urate levels, can slow the clinical decline in people with early Parkinson's. The trial is funded by a major grant from the National Institutes of Health with additional funding from the Michael J. Fox Foundation and is being carried out by Parkinson specialists of the Parkinson Study Group at 60 sites across the United States. To be eligible to participate in the trial, individuals must have received a Parkinson's diagnosis no earlier than three years prior to enrollment and must have mild disease features. They must not be taking or require PD medicines at the time they come into the trial, with the exception that risagiline or selegiline would be allowed. As a Parkinson's patient myself, I know how difficult it is to receive a Parkinson's diagnosis. When I was diagnosed 10 years ago, I felt helpless and I had no idea where to turn or what to do. For me, participating in clinical trials has helped me to feel more in control of my life by knowing that I am helping to possibly find new treatments, new information about the disease, and hopefully, ultimately, the cure for Parkinson's disease. Thank you for your interest in teaming up to improve future therapy for people with Parkinson's disease. If you would like to find out more about participating in the trial and whether there's a Shore PD-3 site near you, please visit the www.clinicaltrials.gov and search for Shore PD-3 or sign up for the FOX trial finder.